Good day everyone. Welcome to Empowerment Technology, ICT and its current state. The essence of what it is to be human is our ability to learn, change, and adapt. Throughout our history, we underwent three significant technological revolutions that drastically changed the way we live. From mastering the use of steam in machines and contraption to create more than what we immediately need. Mastering electricity itself, bringing daylight in night, and transcending radically our ability in storing and processing data. As a learner, you are about to face a new technological revolution, one that has massive information storage, transmission, and analysis at its core. Confronting this new challenge requires you to have a good fundamental knowledge of information and communication technology. At the end of this lesson, we will go into first, identify what is ICT. Second, explain and give how ICT affects their everyday lives and its current state. Before we proceed to our discussion, I have here a Venn diagram. I want you to analyze how each one is similar to other. Kindly use the raise hand button if you want to recite. To formally start our discussion, anyone can answer this question. Using your own word, what is ICT? Just use the raise hand button if you want to recite. Information Communication Technology or ICT is an umbrella term referring to communication hardware or software that allows the access, storage, transmission, and manipulation of information. In terms of hardware, ICT specifically encompasses radio, television, communication devices such as smart and non-smartphones, desktops, computers, laptops, and network hardware and technologies. ICT is also comprised of software application and platforms that allows information to be accessed, stored, transmitted, and manipulated. ICT is used across by mainly industries and disciplines in the sum. It is a crucial element for them. ICT is now a part of many people's lives, for better or for worse. Ultimately, this technology depends on your behavior as an end user, thus, Learning how the use of ICT properly and responsibly is a must. The current state of ICT. ICT is following certain trends as it is developing in this time and age. This trend dictates the idea and design of how ICT delivers information to people. The following are emerging technologies principles or concepts in ICT. First, we have convergent technologies. This is when multiple different devices combine into a single gadget because of technological advancement. One example of this is a smartphone, where it is capable of doing the function of a television, radio, computer, telephone, camera, and GPS as a single device. Next, social media. These are software, applications, or platforms that allows users to communicate in one online social communities or network. Social media allows people to communicate faster through a larger number of people. Third, the mobile technologies. This is a term for devices that are easily carried and allows fast means of communications. These devices from the past were originally big and bulk, but due to the technological advancement, they became smaller and more compact. The World Wide Web in the Internet Anyone can tell me what is the difference of the two? or is there any difference between the two? P 
People colloquially refer the World Wide Web for web for short, as the internet or vice versa, but there are key differences between the two. The internet, by definition, is the actual interconnection of computers and other networks, while the web refers to the system that enables people to access information over the internet. The internet is the hardware aspect because it relates to computer networks, connections, and infrastructures. The web, on the other hand, refers to the software aspect as it relates to the protocols or HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. HTTP are the system or procedures that enables the transfer of information in the internet, web services, applications, and platforms. The web has three distinctive versions, namely Web 1.0, Web 2.0, and Web 3.0. Some people think that the indicated web versions are updated across a particular point of history. The versions of the web are categorized based on functionality and features that it represents. Now, let us discuss the Web 1.0. The Web 1.0 or the so-called read-only web by Tim Berners-Lee, which means the user can only read whatever online content, content the creator has made. When we say Web 1.0, ito yung ibig sabihin, uh, tinatawag din siyang the static web. When we say static web, no movement. Only the creator makes the content and the user will, will only read the content. Wala tayong tinatawag na comments, walang, um, walang sharing. So, we are just visit the website and read what is in it. So, it is developed in 1996. Um, information sharing, lamang siya. And it has a low bandwidth and limited hardware. So, example of this are personal websites like Amazon, Yahoo, eBay, uh, Google, yung Google search, which is, di ba, nagsa-search lang tayo, nababasa lang natin kung ano yung content na nilagay ng um, creator. From Web 1.0, the read-only web, um, Tim O'Reilly invented the web 2.0 which is a dynamic web a read and write web which refers for the ability of the user to add content through posting sharing commenting or rating web 2.0 allows interaction not only in between the user and the creator but also the other users example our sites like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Reddit, and also Flickr and Wikipedia, kung saan uh, everyone can contribute. Nakakapag-contribute na tayo. It was developed last 2006. Uh, it has interaction, high bandwidth, and cheap computing. So, in this Web 2.0, we can contribute, we can read, we can write, we can post, we can share uh, content. So, yun po yung um, pagkakaiba niya sa Web 1.0 na si Web 1.0, we can only read what is written dun sa website. Si Web 2.0, pwede na tayong mag-comments, ba? Pwede na tayong mag-share also and like. Web 3.0 is a concept of how the web will evolve. The keyword for Web 3.0 is ex executable or also called as the semantic web, which refers to the capability of accepting a request from the user will execute a solution or suggestion considering the behavioral, behavioral data of the user. For example, in the diagram, the user would request a suggestion for a restaurant in his phone Based on the current time, previous preference of restaurants of the user and seat availability from various restaurant reservation apps in the internet, 
the user's device will suggest a result from. If requested, it will also reserve a table for the user. Web 3.0 is not yet fully realized and is still developing. The, cons uh, the full concept can still change. Kasi sabi nila may mga issue regarding dito sa Web 3.0. Since it is executable, katulad na lang ng definition niya, sinabi niya na, um, kumbaga parang, nagkakasuggest, nagkakaroon na siya ng suggestion, which is, nanggagaling yun dun sa behavioral data na nagamit natin. For example, di ba, um, sa Facebook na lamang, when we uh, visited a certain Facebook page, may mga times na pag magsisearch tayo, mayroon na kaagad mga lumalabas dun na suggested page, or di ba, sa YouTube naman, if we have visited some videos, or listening music, Pag nag-search tayo, mayroon na kagad suggestion na lumalabas. Yun po yung tinatawag natin na Web 3.0. Kung saan may mga, based dun sa mga preference, past preferences natin, based dun sa mga last na sinearch natin, is um, nag-gather na ng data agad-agad yung website na kung saan uh, magbibigay niya ng suggestion na baka iyon din yung gusto mo kasi yun yung dati mong pinakinggan. For example, OPM hits yung pinakinggan mo last time, tapos magsisearch ka ngayon, may lalabas na naman na iba't ibang mga OPM, OPM hits. So, yun po yung um, ano ni Web 3.0. Na kung saan, kaya nga sabi, not yet fully realized kasi may mga issues. Katulad na lamang nun na um, it's save data. Sinisave niya yung data ni user. Sinisave niya yung data ni user na kung saan uh, medyo tinatawag natin yung ating um, safety, ba? Yung safety ng ating sarili is medyo na aalangan because of this website. So, this website developed last 2016. Uh, micro network siya and cloud computing. Kaya nga um, naging ano siya eh, kumbaga parang nagkaroon na siya ng preferences na si niya kasi cloud computing na siya. So, lahat Lahat ng ating mga ginagawa um, in the internet or sa mga website na binibisits natin, binibisit natin ay nasisave niya. Nasisave niya yung mga data na ginagawa natin. Nasisave niya. So, kaya naman, sabi sa Web 3.0, anyone or everyone can in innovate. So, yun po, nasisave niya yung ating mga data. So, yun po yung ating tatlong... Um, website na na-develop from web 1.0, web 2.0, and web 3.0. To check your understanding, answer these two questions in the comment section. Thank you!